Okay, hello again. This is what I'm calling my second generation powder coating gun. Uh, in the first video that I created that I can link to up here, um, there were a few challenges with that gun that I wanted to overcome. Uh, in this video, what I want to do is, is talk through how this new gun works and, and I go into detail as to how I uh, machined up those components and how it all fits together. So the gun that you're probably familiar with, if you've seen my first video, is this one. Let's call this Generation 1. Um, there were three problems that I specifically wanted to overcome with this gun that I realized through, through further use. It works completely fine, um, but I knew, I know myself that I that could make this better. So the first one is this sharp turn that I have here. Um, with the Generation 2, I've smoothed out that turn because uh, I think I'm getting some weird eddies in there. The other thing that I've, uh, that I've noticed is, uh, is becoming an issue is, is the, the plastics that I'm using. This tube um, is, is um, getting a lot of the black powder, because I'm only using black powder at this stage, sort of infused in the plastic. And when I clean it, it doesn't come off um, and it seems to stain in there. And that's the same with this silicon up in here. Um, I'll, I'll switch to a, a, a close-up so that you can actually see. Um, so what I wanted to be able to do is, is use more rigid plastics here um, and, and remove this, this metal uh, wire that I've got there and, and overall improve the gun. So stick with me, we'll, have a, we'll step through how to piece this gun together um, and we'll see if it uh, indeed solves these problems. Okay, so now that you know all the pieces that are required for this uh, next uh, generation powder coating gun, um, I just wanted to talk through two, the two specific components that are quite unique to this. The first is centered around this 25mm uh, electrical conduit pipe. The reason I went for this is because of this beautiful sweeping uh, corner that it has here, because um, uh, you would have seen in my first generation gun, uh, is that I had a, a very sharp turn here and I think I was getting some weird uh, eddy currents. Uh, what's also really cool about these is that you can have this 25mm uh, uh, PVC pipe coupler, so this joins uh, two pipes together. It fits, uh, it press fits beautifully just into, um, into the end of this. So this whole gun here will be um, done by press fittings, no gluing required. Um, what I also wanted to, to, to be able to do was to have a, a rigid uh, air inlet uh, tube um, coming down into the gun so I didn't have to have that um, soft uh, tubing that I had in the original gun. All that is, is these um, irrigation pipe um, risers that have um, sprinklers on the end there. So I have two of those here, which I show later in the video how to, to put together. Um, and this um, 90 degree bend that I have is simply these um, four millimeter um, barbed elbows. Um, so I'll show how that goes together. But now that we have all of these, uh, these components, I'm going to show you how to put it together at this point. Uh, and later on the video, I'll, um, I've got video footage of how I, I made each of these, uh, these components as needed. Okay, so another thing I wanted to, to point out before we got started was um, why I choose to use these 15mm um, PVC pipes. The main reason is, is it just so happens that uh, they fit um, beautifully into the top of uh, a standard drink bottle here in Australia. Um, so uh, this is why I've, I've kept it to this, uh, this PVC um, pipe fittings. Okay, so let's start by taking this uh, coupler and this piece of 15mm uh, PVC pipe um, and press fitting those in down until it goes uh, all the way down. What I'm going to do off camera is take uh, this uh, bottle cap that I've drilled a hole into um, and uh, glue hot glue it. Um, onto onto that end. Okay, what we're going to do want to do next is to insert this tube into this elbow. Um, what I will show later on the video is is that I've uh, how I drilled a hole down through the center here for this tube to enter. Um, so it's as simple as just feeding it down um, down into that hole um, and setting the depth of that tube against this pipe here. Because what I'm going to do is feed that through there and this is going to hold it. So I really want it to be able to set about the center there. And then once I've done that, I'm then going to, to off air, um, glue this, hot glue this into, into that, um, that hole there so that I don't 
um, get air escaping, air and powder escaping up through this joint. Okay, so once we've done all the hot gluing, now it's time to put it together. So the cap is glued onto this piece of PVC hot here, and the, um, the hot glue there for that joint. Uh, it's just a matter of taking this piece here and sliding that tube up and through and locking it up and then just pushing it forward. So that's a nice tight fit and then we find ourselves until it's flush at this point here. We take uh, this unit and we slide it into there, which end, yeah, there we go, into that there and the electrostatic chamber goes on here. Then it's just a matter of taking this piece fitting it into that hole and then sliding it down onto here. Now what I'm going to do is, is cut this tube off here uh, just with a little bit sticking out and I'll hot glue ever so slightly just around there to stop any air from going down into this part of the gun. We'll put the bottle on here, handle on there and the gun is ready to go.